inside these crates the components to make up all of the medical stations that will transform the Moore Field House into the Moore Field Hospital. This time of the year, there'd be 100 athletes about running around the track right now. We'd have some hoop players after season doing some one-on-one -on -one drills. It's just so different. The Connecticut National Guard is assisting to offload about three semi-trucks worth of mobile hospital equipment from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Once the setup is complete, there will be about 250 beds. What sort of services they will render here, not yet determined by Yale New Haven Health. The biggest thing is making sure that uh, the different health care entities around the state have the logistical support that they need uh, to set up these kinds of sites and to also uh, get the distribution of personal protective equipment that they need as well. Today, the offloading, and tomorrow, the actual setup begins. When we start the school year, by the end of the year, we started with the Triple E virus, and then with the coronavirus, whoever thought that this field house would be turned into a hospital. The National Guard says they've got four days to offload the three tractor trailers and set up the entire hospital, but they expect to be done well before the deadline. Here in New Haven, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.